Hey everyone, welcome back to Everything Tech and today we'll be downgrading Internet Explorer. Hope you liked our new opening sequence, it's all in dedication to the 200 subscribers which we hit a couple of days ago. And it's all thanks to you if you're a subscriber, thank you very much for subscribing and keeping with us in our channel if you are not subscribed uh, please do consider subscribing it really helps us out anyway we're here for Internet Explorer am I right and pre-installing or installing Windows 7 on a computer gives you Internet Explorer 11 which really isn't my most favorite version of Internet Explorer I know there's a lot out there somewhere on the internet that states you shouldn't use Internet Explorer but most people do and this really isn't the best Internet Explorer there is out there because it's all integrated into one bar and Internet Explorer 8 being my most favorite release of Internet Explorer had a separate URL bar alongside it was a dedicated search bar and today I'll be teaching you how to downgrade and the downgrade process is quite easy you don't even need to access the internet now the reason why I'm making this video and showing you guys how to do it this way is in order to keep you from going on shady websites and downloading the actual file which may be riddled with tons of viruses and spyware that potentially puts your information and yourself at risk. So we're going to close the internet and we're not going to access Internet Explorer at all except at the end just to show you how we did it. So what we want to do is go to our flag and we want to search installed updates installed updates here you see it right there if you installed updates you want to go ahead and click that and it starts the list starts populating itself with all of the installed updates as you can see the progress bar up here I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bit bigger I don't know why the search bar is that large uh, I don't even think I can fix it but that's another whole uh, that's a whole nother story anyway what you want to do now when you're in this list is scroll all the way down until you see if you don't see Internet Explorer down here somewhere, what you want to do is search here uh, at the search bar, Internet Explorer, and there it is, Internet Explorer 11. You click on it and then you hit uninstall. And it says, are you sure you want to uninstall this update? You're not uninstalling Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer will always be there. So you just hit yes, and it starts uninstalling the program. And all that's left to do now is for Windows 7 to reboot itself and you'll be back to your old ways Internet Explorer 8. So as soon as you finish the with the little progress bar it's going to tell you you must restart your computer in order to apply these changes. You can either restart later or restart now. I'm going to go ahead and restart now. We'll be back once we're back into Windows 7 once more. So we are back into Windows uh, 7 again and as you can see here it did an update so let's go ahead and look at what happened. So installed updates you installed updates I misspelled it somehow we wait for the list to populate itself once more maybe it downgraded back to the previous version and we need to uninstall that one too so I search once more internet Internet Explorer 10 yes it did downgrade to the previous version for some reason usually when I do this it downgrades directly to when um, Internet Explorer 8 it might have been because the version that I was running had I upgraded from 8 to 11 so it depends on which version you were previously running so I'm gonna go ahead and let this do its thing I'll be back once more so here we are back in Windows 7 and as you can see here is the more older version of Internet Explorer already installed let's click on the actual icon and here we have our dedicated URL bar alongside is our dedicated search bar now if you do want to search uh, change your search provider you can just click on the little arrow there and find more providers and yes it is still supported here I'm going to install well there we go welcome to Internet Explorer 8 no I do not want pop-ups to open so here we're going to install you Google just to show you that these add-ons are still are still supported there we go Google is right here and I can search something now, but I just choose not to because copyright reasons. So we're going to go ahead and close that out. And if you do want to prevent future updates, what you want to do is search Windows Update. And I know for, for a fact that there will be Internet Explorer somewhere out here. And when if you do find Internet Explorer in your updates, what you want to do is just select it. 
right click and hide the update and that's just gonna stop bugging you about upgrading to Internet Explorer I can't see it here somewhere perhaps maybe because my computer has not understood that it doesn't have the latest version of Internet Explorer but if you do see it just right click and hide the update and it's never gonna bother you again so that pretty much covers it for today on how to downgrade to Internet Explorer from 11 to 8 without downloading any viruses to your computer if you found this video particularly helpful please do leave a like or comment anything down below and do consider subscribing if you haven't done so if you have thank you very much we appreciate the 200 plus subscribers we have right now and yes i am working on a 200 subscriber video uh, just as soon as the weather it, it becomes more pleasant here in my area so thank you for watching see you in the next one